Hello everybody and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. In the previous episode we went on a first, or second I believe, long adventure uh, with a very heavy stun comp, but it worked out pretty well. Uh, our plague doctor Isaac took quite a bit of a beating and ended up um, unfortunately going a little bit crazy and started attacking some of the team members, but he is, uh, he is over praying I do believe and, and getting himself a little better hopefully he should be better soon I do quickly want to go over we do have some new mods um I had a few suggestions as well as some that just look very very good so we we have the brigand treasurer as well as his compatibility patch uh which is somewhere about um and that's just going to basically help out with uh having some new enemies so it's, it's literally as it, as it sounds bring treasure you find him randomly uh, he has some cool unique moves and when you kill him you get some extra treasure he's kind of a rare little find we also have and um, there he is the bring treasure right there um we also have a few more new classes in um i believe we've got let's see if i can find them here they're a little bit uh, lower down the barbarian this was uh, highly suggested by one person in particular sounds really cool i'm interested to get involved with that the arsonist which is a very new class mod which has just come out which actually has the unique ability to apply um sort of a flame burn status effect which is very interesting and we also have the uh banished hunter of part of the class variety project i'm not exactly sure what that's all about but it looks pretty cool it's been hyped up for a little while over in the moonlit dungeons discord so i thought i'd check it out but let's get into the hamlet and see what we want to do this week here we are in the cursed estate and actually last episode we didn't take on anyone new as we can see here we only have some level ones of people we already have and um a seer and a hound master two of which we don't have but unfortunately are level zeros uh, isaac still is praying away hoping he gets better soon um, and we did manage to, I believe, if we just go and take these guys out of the party, get a few new people up to level 2, if I remember rightly. We've all, almost got Rune up to level 3 as our first level 3, which is surprising. So everyone's looking pretty good. Um, we've certainly got some options here today. But we, uh, we're we going to be looking into, into going over to... Um, Going over to the Sodden Crew, I do believe. Uh, we have a Flagellant... Um, only trinket here which is going to be 10% death blow resist 20% dodge at death's door and plus 20% damage if stressed above 85 it's, it's, it's not bad uh, we've also got here the um extra damage from in position one with a minus to crit and speed but that's 25% extra damage and just the straight up bleed resist which is is very very good uh putting that on a flagellant is is very good and this would be a, a huge buff to um jonathan baker here so we've also got the uh, chance to see the collector I do have the roaming collector mod on, so he can appear. The Sodden Crew is one that I'm not as familiar with. I know that he has... Uh, he does a lot of stress. He has a move where he will, um... He will bring one of your members, like, he'll hold them so they can't do anything. And he'll heal off of that and uh, deal stress to them. So this is going to be a, a fairly difficult one to, to party up for, I do believe. I don't have any specific party suggestions as of yet. So we're going to be looking for some people that can remove a decent amount of stress. As well as deal a decent amount of damage. And also we're kind of looking for a crew that can move a lot. I've heard that, um, that using Lunge and Shadow Fade to just repeatedly do damage is a really nice way to play as uh, Nina, our Grave Robber here. So that might be a pretty good one to um, to play with there. So let's, let's try out that. So we'll bring Nina. Uh, she also does have the ability to Blight, which is really... Well, do extra damage versus Blight, should I say. Which is really, really nice. Um... We should probably put poison darts on instead of um, her self trickery, to be honest. Uh, a toxin trickery. Because with that, we can start to blight things and set up for that extra blight damage. It's also usable from any range. We'll go with that instead. Um, but this this could be this could be very, very good. Uh, plus 85 damage and then lunge just finishes everything off. So that, she's going to be great. I don't exactly know where best to play her. As you can see, she's going to be moving around the battlefield a whole hell of a lot. So if we have her in position 2, she's going to be basically be trading between position 1 and position 3 all the time. Uh, so we want to build a group that can work alongside that. And to me, that would mean that we probably want someone like... So we need someone that's going to have a decent amount of heals, but stress heals as well. So I'm thinking maybe Alamia might be quite good. Uh, Artemis here might be uh, might be very, very useful. Um, she's going to get less healing received. 
She's going to get extra damage. Uh, she might be quite useful. Four to six isn't a huge heal, but curing that blight and bleed is, is very, very nice. And being able to clear horrors also good. Um, so maybe we'll bring her in the back line here. Ah, I'm missing the back line. And who are we going to have up front? We need two people that are relatively movable. So bringing Dismas might be a good idea. He does have his, uh, his duelist's advance, which would be pretty decent to swap between these positions here. I do believe she can use this from any position, but we really don't want to be using this from, um, from the back line, uh, the very back line, because it's going to... Uh, like, we don't want to be using it for position 2, sorry, because it's going to be knocking uh, Lamia out of position. Although, she can work from, basically, the back 2 slots. So, I, I don't I don't think that's too much of a worry. I just I don't want to build a crew here that's going to end up being too difficult to manage. Uh, Veronica, our Snake Charmer, could be interesting. She has the uh, a pretty good ability to apply um, Blight, as well as a Repost that gives Blight. And she has the ability to buff an extra action on some on some targets, which could be interesting. As well as this here. So I'm thinking Let's 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 play around with this a little bit. So Feast is pretty good for clearing corpses. Repost is nice. I think I'm gonna change this out for uh, venomous fangs. And see how see how we work out with um Veron Verona here. Uh, I said Veronica but to, to be to start with I've feel like I did. I don't know what I'm saying right now. I feel like I said the wrong thing, but either way. Uh, so, Verona could be pretty good there. Now, who are we going to have in our front line? Our front line is is definitely odd, because we need someone that can work from a lot of positions. Now, I am thinking our shield breaker would be very, very good, but at the same time, we'd have to deal with his camping, and his camping is certainly problematic. Where is he, actually? Where is he? There he is. Anguis. Do we wanna do we wanna go with Anguis? Or do we wanna stick with something else? So we have two abilities to blight. We also have this ability here to remove the uh, the blight that is caused by the Carmen toxins, which is just awesome. So good. Uh where, we need to check where she can use this from though. Carmen toxins is only from the back line. And same with this as well. Um That's gonna make things a little harder. To work with. Uh, does she have anything that pushes her back? She does. Hmm. Okay, this is... This is a difficult one, because the thing is, adds one action is insane on our Grave Robber. We, we, we really want that. Carmen Toxins is really powerful. Um, I think we take off her repost as good as it is and go with the Mamba Dance just to be able to reposition a little more safely, uh, especially considering these can be used from multiple positions, and try and play off of that and hope that that works out, and then we can push ourselves to the back when necessary. Now, who's going to go here? Uh, forward, forward. All of these push him forward. We kind of need something to push him back. Impale, Adder's Kiss, probably better to go for Adder's Kiss here, although that's only usable in position 1, which is less than ideal. Same with that one. Um, that's going to, Expose is going to uh, bypass Stealth, add Crits Received, and minus their speed. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, this is a pretty difficult one to play, to be honest. This is a pretty difficult one to play. I think we'll stick with what we've got going on right now. Um, apart from I'm probably going to put Adder's Kiss on here. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not. Okay, we'll stick with this. Campaign skills here are going to be odd. Okay, so we've got a... Oh, of course. Of course. Shieldbreaker will not party with our Snake Charmer. For very, very obvious reasons. Very, very obvious reasons. That makes perfect sense. Okay. That's less than ideal, but I don't mind too much. Uh, hmm. So, the problem... We, this, this is great, because we've got the ability to do a bit of extra healing. But the problem is we can only do that from position one. Uh... I think maybe we take. Hmm. This is this is a difficult decision to start off this this uh, episode. 
Do we go with the volley? Or do we go with the wheeling disengage? Um, I think we take off this heal and we put on that. Or do we want the party heal? Is, is it better to have one slightly better targeted heal or one slightly weaker party heal? It's probably better to have the party heal. I feel, I feel, the party heal. Um, hmm. Okay. Let's try this out. This so we've got it. We've got to plan a bit more heavily around this. So we've got we've got people that can hit the back line, which is which is great. Uh, Nina can of course hit the back line with uh, actually. Hmm. We don't have anyone that can hit the direct back line. Uh, you can with this, which is nice actually. So Mamba Dance can hit the back line. Okay. We've got to plan very carefully around this, because this could go badly if we don't. Let's have a little look. So, Alamia, she is going to be sticking in the back two positions when possible. So she stays there. Let's let's save, let's have a look at speed. Okay, so we've got seven speed, we've got eight speed, we've got five speed, and we've got three speed. So most likely Nina is gonna get to go first, if anything. So, Nina goes first, and she lunges forward, which is going to put her in position one. Uh, that Then, for example, Lamy is going to go next, Artemis, um, which is going to keep her in whatever position she's in. Then, a Snake Charmer goes, which is going to push him forward one, or back one, whichever one we like. Then, Eon's going to go and thrust forward again. That's going to... Where's that going to put Nina? So Nina would be there. If you struck forward, that would push Nina back one. That would end up pushing Nina back into this position, which would allow for less use of Shadow Fade. I'm going to try this party out. I'm a little worried, I have to say, but I think this could work. So who do we want Who do we want what on? So who's going to have the high protection? So you've got 30 health, 30 health, 24, 27. So you, of course, want the extra healing abilities. Um, is there anything else we have that's going to be better for healing here? Uh... Hmm. Stress versus humans. Dodge. Extra protection. Crits. Bleed chance. Hmm. I don't know what's best to go on on her here. Probably just going with the. Uh, probably just going with the slippery boots for that extra dodge would be quite nice. Then Nina's going to be moving around a lot and hopefully dealing a lot of crits. So, we probably want to get her as, as high up in there with the crit modifiers as we can. So, we probably put the focus ring on her along with the extra damage and max HP. Uh, that is going to lower her speed by a significant amount, though. Is that what we want? Who do we... Basically, we want, we want to think about who we want to go last. Whoever we want to go last, we want the heart anchor on. Because it's actually pretty beneficial for us to have someone going last. I think Eon's probably the person we want going last. So we won't put that on you. Uh, extra four crit chance. Extra crit versus Mark. Which is going to receive slightly more crits. Um, extra speed. Less maximum HP. Hmm. I think here we just take the... Uh, we just take the less stress. Then... Verona's already got one with the extra blight resist and debuff skill chance. And we're probably going to give her a little bit of extra move resist and protection. And then Eon's going to go with the extra max HP and pro... Ooh, actually, okay, we'll put the heart anchor on you. That's going to be great. Uh, I think. Hmm... I'm starting to notice that we don't have anyone with the slime jar. And the slime jar is really good. So, do we do we forbode the Book of Sanity and go with the slime jar on Nina? I think we do. I think while the stress reduction's nice, we'll probably go with the slime jar here. I mean, we, we might be better off... 
Yeah, do you know what? We'll be better off doing this. Let's go with a 25 prot. And then the... Um, and then the extra prot there for 55% prot. And he's got 10% with the quirk as well. He's going to be very, like, tanky now. Um, or do we go with a book of sanity and stay at 35 prot? I'd rather go with that. Okay, that's that. I'm happy with that. Let's try this out. I'm... This, this group is very odd. And I don't know how well it's going to play. But we'll try it out. Let's go for the Sodden Crew. The Sodden Crew, we're going to want to be hitting, hitting the background and do a lot of blight. We have that set up. So we'll take one of these. We'll make sure to take plenty of food. 18. Five shovels. Four. Three. 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 And a bunch of torches. Probably 18 as well. That'll do us, I think. Um, yeah. I think we'll be okay with that. In fact, I'll take two more food just in case. Right. Let's try this out had become a nuisance along the old road and so i undertook to receive my most curious deliveries by way of marine shipments a sheltered jetty was accessible by a narrow stone stair off the back of the manor and a discreet system of pulleys could hoist even the heaviest prizes up the rock face from a securely tied dinghy below Interesting. Uh, we do have a, a little bit of a sort of diary entry of sorts here. Uh, this is by DB Fan, and this is by one of the denizens of the Hamlet. Though we were all sceptical of the new heir, they seem to genuinely dedicate to helping the Hamlet. The oppressive atmosphere that's been around since the ty um, tyrannical ancestor has ever so slightly lightened. The estate seems a bit less twisted. I just hope it continues. Great little bit of uh, insight into the, some of the people here. We, of course, are in, in the curve here, so I brought some uh, hair of the sea dog just to remove the um, the curse if we end up uh, getting it. Okay, that's nice to get straight away. Is that a... Wait a minute. Is that a stress heal? I think it is. I think we're going to leave that for now and come back to it later if need be. I'm pretty sure that's a stress heal. Um, and it might be very well that we come back to it straight after this. So let's see how this goes. So let me to start. Probably one of the worst ones to get to start. We can go with a pull with a dodge reduction and can't be guarded. Uh, let's pull you to the front, or at least forward. Little bit of dodge um, for there. Right, so we go with... We want to be taking out you first, actually. So we'll go pick to the face and try and take you out. Yeah, we'll make sure you're gone, because you can deal a lot of damage with that explosion. And... Here we'll go with... This is going to be... Interesting. Okay. We'll try that out. Okay, nice. Y'all debuffed a lot. Nice dodge there, Nina. Glad to get Nina out finally. Ooh, that's a big heal there. Uh... Ah, okay. So she can't use lunge from this position. Well, she can use shadow fade. Uh, I'm just going to go for pick for the face, actually, and try and kill. We got a crit there, which is kind of nice. Happy to see that. Uh, we'll go with a bit of stress reduction here. A little bit more stress coming our way. That's fine. Finish you off. Oh, Eon, that's unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to try this out. I'm going to try this out. So, with this, we go with this on Nina. This is going to give her an extra action. So, I think if we now shadow fade, do we get another move straight after? Or very soon after, at least. Um, still going for those stress heals. Yes, we do. Interesting. Okay, that's a cool combo. That's a very interesting combo with our snake charmer. I like that a lot. You need to go. Stop dealing stress to us. Well, everyone's stress is pretty much okay right now. Um, and then we can go with this on you, which is going to blight you for a whole hell of a lot and kill you. Lovely. Okay, good start. Good start. This this crew is uh, is certainly working out for us. So we've got to remember that that um, Curio is there if we need a nice stress heal. Of course, we're looking for the Sodden Crew, which will be, um, I believe, here. That's one, two, three, four, five, or yeah, it'll it'll have to be there. Okay, so we can we can head straight towards that nicely enough. Um, this is nice. Uh, the eerie coral. I believe this gets rid of a terrible uh, quirk. So let's have a look. Um, that's pretty horrible. Off guard isn't great. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with uh, a snake charmer and try to get rid of off guard. I think that's what this does. 
Yes, off guard quirk removed. Beautiful. Off guard was not good for us. Hitting a trap there, that's quite a lot of stress, and that is a pretty hefty debuff. We'll actually uh, get rid of that straight away. The traps in the curve apply some pretty hefty debuffs that we, that we really have to be on top of. Uh, so that's the more stress relief. We'll actually go and do that now, considering... Oh, that's just a normal heal, not a stretch relief. Okay, good to know. Uh, this, I believe if we touch it, we just get a good quirk. Ruthless. Hey, nice. Do I like to see? Okay, I'm, I'm learning these curios more and more as we go here. This is a pretty horrible party. I'm really glad we got the surprise here. Um, we're going to go for the stress heal here, because Nina is looking a little worse for wear here. Um, we're going to go for the lunge on you... Big crit there, Nina. Absolutely beautiful. Well done. It's absolutely huge for us. Try and take you out. So we want to be getting rid of that chance to stun. And then... I think if we do this... That's a huge, huge stress relief there. Oh, we did we did get hit, but no stun, and fall, uh, luckily enough. We're going to get these guards. We have the ability to stop guarding and, and, and break guards, which is really nice. Uh... This piece is armor too, so let's see. I think we're gonna go for Shadow Fade. And we're gonna just heal you off that bleed. Bit of bleed on us. Nope, we resisted it. Nice one, nice one. Okay, we'll finish you off. Don't want any stuns anymore. And these two are guarding each other, so we're gonna be a bit of a pain, but we have some ability to get through armor, and we have blight as well, which is nice. Um Probably don't want to be going forward. We probably want to be going back. So we'll get you. Nice dodge there. Okay. This is a problem. We we, we really got to think about... Um, nice. Nice one, Nina. We really got to think about where our uh, where Artemis is situated. We really don't want to put her in a position where she can't do anything. That's, that's the biggest problem with this group right now. Um, Artemis isn't too movable. But that's, that's fine. So I think now we go and give... You a big boost. We shadow fed you. Okay, this is a really cool combo we've got going on here. I like this a lot. We'll keep attacking you. Lunge on you for a massive crit. You're on one HP. And I think we finish you off. And this guy's gonna miss. Ah, <laughs> I tried to bait him out of the miss. Right, nice. We can get a. Heal off that bleed there. And I'm actually really liking this group. I think this group's fantastic. I think this works really well. I'm not I'm not too used to using um, very movable groups. So it's a, it's, a, it's a nice amount of practice for me. And I'm learning and I'm liking it. Uh, that's a big, big um, search there. Looks like we're not going to have too much problems along the way. Apart from obviously this fight right here. Uh, armor piercing on this means we can kill it in one hit. Nice one, Nina. Uh, keep going on with those stress heals while we don't have any uh, anything else to do. You see that cure failed? That's just for horror. Obviously, we're, we aren't horrored right now, so that's fine. Nice dodge there, Artemis. Nice dodge. Um, yeah, we can set up a blight on you. That should do a good amount of damage and probably finish you off there. Okay, it's fine. Pick to the face. We're just going to continue here. We don't have to be a very movable group if we don't want to be. That's a huge crit there. Nice one, Verona. Nice one. Lovely. This is this is interesting. I'm liking this a lot. I'm liking this a lot. Um, so we have finally got our scouting to our boss. We are going to have at least one more fight here. Um, 70, 80, 100. Of course, we're using it with Nina then. Nice one, Nina. Saving the group there. Helping everyone out. Let's move over. First hunger check here. Uh, I don't think we have any nighttime ambush uh, prevention. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. Uh, yeah, we've got plenty of shovels here. Let's open that up. Yeah, let's uh, let's actually have a little look at that, shall we? Uh, prevent nighttime ambush on anyone. None, none here. I really should. I, I always should check this before I head out, and I never do. Remove disease. That's very nice. Uh, I don't think we have any disease companions right now. It looks like we don't have prevent nighttime ambush, which is a real shame. Uh, we we could we could face some issues there, but our group's very movable. I I think it shouldn't be too big of a problem, nonetheless. So let's get to camping. Um, we might as well go with the eight food, considering we have so much food. Get everyone to 
minimum stress. Let's have a little look, see. What, what do we need here? Extra healing received for the whole party is very nice. One companion with extra prot is really good. Uh, extra crits for everyone's nice. Ooh, one companion. Hmm, interesting. Receive a bit more stress, but you'd get a lot of speed and crit. Um, I need to remember that Nina has this. That's very, that's very useful. Uh, we don't have too many things that benefit the group, to be honest here. So let's go with the extra, the extra that there. I'm gonna use this on Nina here. She might end up getting the debuff. She did, but she did get the 10% crit. Great. Uh. And then we'll go with the extra crit on everyone. And then you can have some more pro as well. And we should be good to go. We'll probably end up getting a nighttime ambush here. I really should read these, shouldn't I? We're out of firewood. We must steal ourselves for the push. Yeah. Oh, no. We got lucky. We got lucky. Okay. Now, there is something to, to be said about using Eon to start with an onslaught. And I suppose I could do that, but with his very low speed, we're very rarely going to have him first, and I'd rather not have everyone else out of position for that to happen. Ooh, a stun on our Lamia there. Artemis isn't great. Um, we can kill these in one hit. Didn't quite get it, but we can. Um, Pick to the face is going to kill these in one hit. We know that for a fact, so we'll definitely do that, and that's a huge heal there. Uh, we're just going to finish you off. We don't want to be taking too many stuns on board. Ooh, nice dodge there, Verona. Nice dodge. Uh, we don't need stress heals on anyone. Let's just heal you up for a tiny amount there. Make sure everyone's topped off. Ooh, we did take a bleed there. That's fine. Pit to the face. I love that. Having armor piercing is so valuable. And blight on you again. Should finish you off. Lovely. Nice one, guys. So I don't know how much, uh, how much things we get applied to us in this fight. We'll make sure that's cured off of you. Um, minus 5 dodge, minus 20... I don't think uh, the herbs are going to help with this. Oh, they do. Okay, nice. Good to know. Um, and we'll make sure that we've got a few of these guys resisted up. Right, let's go. Let's try... Let's see how this goes. I'm I'm a bit worried, but I think we, I think we have a good chance here. All hands on deck. Pulling you to the front straight away is, is terrible for us, to be honest. Uh... He does have a lot of prot there. Let's just go for the back line. Nice crit. That's huge to start out here. That is huge. We could, of course, change um, and use her as an actual frontline damager. She's going to have the ability to hiss. In fact, I'm, I'm, I'm very tempted to do that, you know. We haven't used beast mode yet. Uh, let's go with that. We'll change over to beast mode. Everyone's going to get a bit of horror. Uh, we can go with some stun. You've got pretty high stun resists. Or we can go with blight. Let's go with a blight. Blight is doing pretty good against you there. You've still got your prop. That's pushing us to the back. Nice one. Mutiny. Lovely dodge there, Artemis. People are seeing your true form, but my god. It's working out. And we'll, we'll get the double on Nina here. Shadow fade back to the back. I love this combo. We've been trapped. We need to take you out pretty, pretty rapidly here. Nice dodge again there. Artemis is doing well. Uh, nice. We need to take this thing out, though. Otherwise, he's going to keep taking stress. Lunge on you. There we go. That gets the kill. This might be one of my favorite group comps we've ever used. This is really fun. This group is great. Nice crits. The crits are coming in hot and heavy here. It's beautiful. Uh... I think I'm just going to buff Nina for the double action again. Nina's double action here is, is insanely good. Okay, you're taking that blight. Nice resist there, Verona. Nice resist again. That blight is so strong as well. Ten points for three rounds. That pretty much kills you. Pretty much kills you. And then the lunge. Easy. These guys, they know what they're doing. Wow, that was that was amazing. I I absolutely love this group. This group is definitely going out again together. Um, Artemis is the only really um, 
problem. But even then, she worked pretty well. She she stayed in position most of the time, and she she worked with the group relatively well. We won't be greedy. We'll just return to Hamlet. We won't be greedy. We've done that too many times, and it's hurt us too many times. But now we've got some trinkets there that are really, really good for us. And Artemis is taking on a hey, plus five dodge after the first round. That's wonderful to see. But that is that is a group that I am I'm very, very happy to see work so well. And we actually have our arsonist right here, so we could definitely take him on. We'll see. He will be level zero if we take him on from there, though. So we do have to be aware of that. So let's uh, take off our trinkets. I'm, I'm looking forward to taking out Jonathan Baker. In the future as well with the uh, the new trinkets we got for him recently. Uh, we, we do want to keep that on for another. There you go. Right, so let's see who we've got to take on board. Uh, Lamia, we have a uh, higher level Man at Arms. Okay, we're starting to get to the point where we're not really taking as many people on here. Uh, I think that's a higher level Man at Arms. Let's have a little look here. Bethel, that is a higher level one, yes. Um... Right, let's have a look. Fear of Eldritch. 10% armor piercing, 10% melee skill damage. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna swap we're gonna swap you out. So let's go with that there. Strength of youth may be spent, but his eyes hold the secrets of a hundred campaigns. Berthold. That's right, isn't it? Yep. Berthold. Good, good. And this one can retire. You're using one. Four, five, and seven. Yeah, one, four, five, and seven. One, four, five, and seven. Okay, interesting. Good, good, good. Okay, so we're not actually taking anyone on from here. Uh, how about this, though? He will be level zero, which is certainly a shame, but this is a new class that I'm, I'm rather interested in. I'm rather interested in it, I do have to say. So he has um, the ability to set targets on fire with Molotov Cocktails. And uh, he has the Slash and Strike for bleed damage. He also has the ability to buff all of his resists and cure himself of Blight and Bleed. As well as the Red Hot Poker to mark targets. And then some of his other skills. He has Incinerate, which is going to self-damage to pair enemy hit, but it's going to clear corpses. And deal a pretty good amount of damage to everyone. Um, hot headed is going to be a forward one mark, activate repost, a 30% chance to gain a block as well, uh, and then smoke screen, which is going to give him some stealth and uh, also buff him, which is interesting. Um, do we want to take on this guy? I'm, I'm torn because we we have so many like, yeah, we'll take him. We'll take him. We have, we have so many uh, higher levels now. I don't really want to take on level zeros. But he's a new class, so I'll allow it. Let's see if we've got any trinkets that we really want here. One for a Ronin. Sadly, we no longer have a Ronin, but that's that's really good. Uh, Cataphract. Um, we we'll here. We don't have anything particularly that we want there. Um, some of these. Imagine getting some of these. They're, they're amazing. Right. Uh, let's have a little look. See what we want to embark on next, shall we? Got a few different options here. Um. We probably want to go for something that's got a really good trinket that we want. We still don't have a heli on. That's that's something that we're definitely missing. Uh, extra max HP and dodge, but less speed. Hmm. There's not particularly anything here that I'm uh, that I'm looking at. Ooh. Now this is interesting. Minus twenty stress. Plus twenty prop. Plus 20. Okay, so this would this would turn him from less of a stress healer into more of a damage dealer. That's interesting. Um, it's a long adventure, though, so probably not the best idea right now. Let's just go on a short adventure. A medium adventure, even. We'll go, we'll go medium. We'll go here to the, uh, to the wield and try that out. We do have the chance for the collector again. Strange ghost terrorizing this area this week. Right, let's let's think of a nice little group of people that we want to try out, shall we? Um, I kind of want to try out Jonathan. Is the is the wield weak to bleed? I think it is. So we'll try we'll try you out, Jonathan. Uh, we definitely want to change a few things, though. We definitely want um, reclaim on him. So I think I think Reign of Sorrows reclaim and 
Redeem is probably a good one to go with. Uh, Exsanguinate is really good too, but we're going to go with Redeem here. Uh, put him up there. Then who do we go with? Who do we go with? This is always the hardest decision, thinking of who's going to be best to take out. I want to take some people out that haven't really been out as much recently. So maybe we'll go with Ruby in the back line as a bit of extra damage. Um, we probably want to pair her with someone that, that works well with Marked. So... Is there anyone down here that's going to be really good for marking? Clint hasn't been out in a little while, actually, and Clint has Mark. Let's put Clint in the front line, and then let's have a look at who we want to go out as our healer. Who do we want as our healer? We're, 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 still, we're still a little behind the curve with healers, I think. We could go with Aurora and have Nina and Aurora go out. Again, these two are uh, pretty good pals, and we've, of course, got Jonathan's healing to sort of follow up the back line. Um... Yeah, do you know what? We'll, we'll do that. We'll try that out. It's a little less healing than it's normal, but I think it should work out pretty well. Uh, let's go trinket everyone up, shall we? So, sort by rarity. So, we're going to want to be giving him a lot of damage. That's going to be sort of the main thing here. Um, extra bleed chance. Does he have a bleed skill? I don't think he does, does he? No, he doesn't. Right. Uh, so... I think accuracy crit and minus dodge is probably going to be better on one of the ladies back here. Probably. So we'll go with a jar on you, as well as probably some prot. So let's go with where's where's our where's our big prot? Twenty percent prot there. Twenty percent prot there. Um, the minus speed is fine for you, so we'll go with the extra prot like that. I think. Then here, we've got a few things for you. So we just got this, which admittedly isn't particularly useful for us this venture, I don't think. Uh, we want to we be upping his bleed resist as much as possible. So, hmm. So we, 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 just, got, we just got one of these trinkets that is going to up his bleed resist by a lot. Let's have a look. Where was that? So this, plus 30% bleed resist. Because if, if you think about it, uh, Reclaim here is self-bleed, and we can actually up his bleed resist enough to make sure that never hits us. Uh, and I think I'll up it again with probably this. Do we have anything else that ups bleed resist? I don't think we do that I know of. No, not, not that I'm seeing. So let's uh, let's go with this. Up his bleed resist to a, to a very high number. Then Aurora, probably going to take on the healing. And I, you're, what are you going to take on? This is, this is an interesting group of people to build for, to be honest. Very interesting. We'll go with the... I think we'll go with the extra crits and crits received. As well as the um, focus ring for you. For the really high chance to crit. Good accuracy. It's going to be pretty good for you, I think. As well as the uh, extra mark damage there, which is going to synergize nicely. And is that everyone trinketed up? It it, it actually is. Um, this is this is a little odd for trinketing up, to be honest. We, we, we normally have some different things going on here. We could, of course, just go with the straight up damage. I think I'm going to go for straight up damage, actually, here. Less than prop. So we have the 25% damage. Less crit, less speed. And do we have anything else that straight up ups damage? What does the um, what does the wield mostly consist of? I'm actually going to go and check that out now. Um, let's have a little look, see, shall we? So, darkest dungeon wield. Let's have a little look, see. So, the wield list of wield monsters: Eldritch, Eldritch. Beast, human, 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 eldritch, human, human. It's it's a lot more human than it is uh, anything else. A lot more human. The main ones I'm going to be seeing is ectoplasm, uh, uh, the, the, the dogs, the scratchers, and the artillery. 
So I think... I think we're probably good with going with the, the Manslayer. Let's try that out. And just up his damage by a whole hell of a lot. And see how this goes. I'm a little worried for the healing of this group. But I think this, I think this could go quite well. It's going to be a slightly longer episode, I think. But I'm, I'm fine with that. So let's go with... 16 food. No, we'll go with 18 food. Four of those. Three, 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 three. And 18 of those. Okay, good, good. I'm interested in this group. Ooh, ooh, that's interesting. So, with the Roman Collector, we get some new backgrounds and things here. And this is obviously the one for uh, the Roman Collector. Not quite finished yet, as you can see, missing uh, description. But that's a really cool bit of art there. Um, yesterday, some of the local warriors announced... Oh, by the way, I'm reading a backstory for uh, Isaac. <laughs> I just started reading it. Backstory for Isaac the Plague Doctor, and this is by T with edits from Friendly Chef. Yesterday, some of the local warriors announced they were um, expeditioning into the ruins and needing some new samples to study. I decided to go along with them. That was a terrible mistake. I was terribly wounded, bruised, and batters, battered, and those so-called heroes made little effort to defend me. I should have just asked them to bring some back for me, but I bet those buffoons would hardly know what to look for or even how to procure it. I'd never considered myself a very religious per uh, person, but Aaron led me to the abbey claiming I wasn't acting normally. I hope that man knows what he's doing. Interesting little backstory there. But yes, uh, we do have the... Um, Every lost resource must nice. Uh, we, we do have the uh, collector to maybe deal with here. So I think we have a group that's that's adequate for dealing with him. Uh, because we can go with the backline bleed. Along with the backline shooting arrows and backline shooting here. Should be okay. We didn't actually check out uh, her skills too much, to be honest. We could have maybe changed that. We do have the ability to um, activate repost here, which is nice. Let's have a little look to where we want to go. So we've got to find these three medicines. So we need our uh, inventory slots for doing that. We're going to have to go pretty much everywhere because they can be on the ground. We're going to leave that for now. I, I, I don't want to go with that yet. 90%, 70, 80. Clint's going to go for that. Nice one, Clint. But yeah, Nina. Uh, not Nina, sorry. Uh... Ruby and Aurora haven't really been out since the first time they went out, and I think they're probably excited to go again here. So, Bounty Hunter's going to do insane damage versus these guys. An extra 50% with his already 8 to 15 here, which is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, so, Reign of Sorrows, Punish. We'll go with Punish. Nice bit of bleeding you. That's, that's, that's you dead. Oh, this is going to be amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, escape cloud. That's going to be a little bit of blight on us. That shouldn't be too much, though. Nice bit of bleed on you. And there you go. You're done. Okay, this is going to be a fast killing group. Very fast killing group. That blight's not bothering me too much here. I'm not going to worry about it. It's a little bit of damage, but it's nothing to, to really fret about. But yes, unfortunately, we do have to go everywhere here. So it's going to be a little bit of a longer one. We do have the ability to camp, though. Again, didn't check if we can prevent nighttime ambush. Really need to start doing that more often. Uh, herbs go there. Nice amount of food there. Actually, in fact, because we just got all that food, let's cure you two up now. And this is why we want to keep our shovels. A lot of things to shovel through here. A bit of treasure. Okay, so these are beasts, so we're not going to deal extra damage to these guys, sadly. We'll apply some bleed there, though. Get one of these dogs pretty much gone straight away. In fact, if I can get both of them really weak and then finish one of them off. Lovely accuracy from everyone here. Normally, these dogs can be pretty brutal at escaping, but Ruby and Aurora have that dead eye shot. Wing slam stunned there. Okay, keep bleed on you. That'll, that'll stack up enough to kill you. Nice dodge there, Aurora. Probably finish you off. That, that means you might die from the bleed. Not quite. You're on 5 HP, so you're not quite going to die. Finish you off. Nice one, Clint. Beautiful accuracy there. And that's a nice finish there. Okay, this group is insane. I'm loving this group already. Absolutely loving this group already. Uh, have a look at the strong box. So, like I said, we're probably going to have to make some decisions soon about... Um, we're going to have to go this way. This is... This is a lot of, of, of shovel clearing, but we've got to do it. 
We, we might get to the point where we have none left here, because we've got one here already. And that's a lot more area to cover, so I'm a, I'm a little worried about that. Especially considering this was the wrong way. A little worried about that. Okay, these guys are human, so going to get that extra damage there, lovely. Um, we'll go with... A bleed on you. Nice crit there, Jonathan. My god, you beast. 10 damage there. Strike on that deer. Gonna take a little bit, little bit of bleed ourselves, But that's not a problem. Another shot there by Ruby. Nice. Apply that bleed. Lovely. And I think Ruby can finish off both of them with one shot there. This is just the quickest group ever. Check inside the tent for valuables. That's a lot of stuff. And there's some shovels too. Okay, we've got we've got the slight problem of the fact that we're kind of out of space already. Uh, we're gonna have to trade things away to get pick up the things we need to take back the medicines, which is a shame. But I was expecting that to happen nonetheless. Uh, we still eat some more food here. Okay, head back to where we came. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little upset to see as many um, as many shovel clears as, as we have seen. But the fact that we just got two extra shovels makes that a little less worrisome. I have to say. Nice amount of money here. We should get a lot of money for doing this. Nice. I love that. Uh, the, both groups we've taken out today, I'm absolutely in love with. These are really fun to play. Okay, nice. There's two bodies here as well, two corpses. I'm not sure what they can do with those. A little bit of stress coming. That's probably that only weakness in the group here. We don't have good ways to reduce stress. We'll just finish you off. That bleed should kill you, right? Oh, not quite. Not quite. Go for a mark on you. Oh, that did not mark the right one at all. <laughs> That's a shame. Go for a bit of healing here. He, sh he was going to die by the... Uh, by the bleed anyways. I should have let him die. A little bit stupid of me there. It's fine. And there you go. You're done. Oh, those big 15 hits. Not even a critical strike. Hitting for 15 is beautiful. You're, of course, going to go for a raw I imagine. Or you're not even going to get the chance. Oh, ho, ho, this group's speedy. Right, we'll try this again. I know this can stress you out. Oh, nice. We got lucky both times. And let's have a look. Got a bit more scouting here. Scouting's doing well. Okay, I'm just... I'm waiting on the Collector to show up. I mean, I think we're more prepared for him if he does. Ha ha! <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. I think we're a bit more prepared for him here. We can retreat if things go bad. That's the main thing we've got to realise here. Uh... Yeah, keep, keep you up to full. We're going to mark you ready for um, for Ruby. Of course, he's going to collect it. We need to go for the Dismas head. Apparently, these two are the worst. Collected Highwaymans. Apparently, you really want to be taking those out as quick as possible. Or we could just stack the bleed on him. That's going to hit both of these. So I'm going to do that instead. Okay, that guard there is not great. Go for the shot. Go for the shot. Oh, this is beautiful. This is working out fantastically. In fact, I actually think if we do this, he's dead. Oh, didn't even get hit. Fantastic. Oh, that was absolutely beautiful. We only got one gem, which is surprising. But that was, that was fantastic. Okay, what can we get rid of realistically here? What can we get rid of realistically? I'm, I'm actually going to get rid of this because this is worth so much more. But that was... That was beautiful. This group... I mean, that surprise really, really helped. Um, we got Zoophobia there. 20% stress versus beast isn't great. Uh, yeah. That was that was fantastic. That That's the best collector fight I think I've ever had. <laughs> okay, I don't think we can get him more than once as well. So we should be fine from now on. Go for a big strike on you. That should be you dead. Lovely. I love that first time. Having that 10% extra damage here as well as the bleed resist is so good. We haven't actually need to use reclaim at all yet. But when we do, it's going to be so useful. Nice kill there, Clint. And just heal ourselves, actually. Nice shot. He's probably going to do... Yep. 
Had a feeling. Thought it was coming. Nice crit there, Jonathan. Jonathan's a beast. He's an absolute beast. Loving it. And there you go. Oh, this... The two groups are taken out. I mean, obviously, this is because we're in a in a lower level area. But I'm still loving how powerful we're getting right now. Mm, no space for portraits. I would like to think, bring portraits back. We'll, we'll get rid of the anti-venom. As much as it pains me to do so. Okay, here's our medicine thing. As if we're going to have to get rid of a bunch of stuff to hold these. Uh, herbs. We're just going to have to hope we don't come across things and, tr and curios that really hurt us here. We, still, we can still camp as well, which is good. Holding out for a secret room. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Use them while we got them. I mean, I suppose what I could do is I could take these later after we've seen everything. But I don't want to do that. Just don't want to backtrack too much. Right. Oop, just a brigand guard. Just a cutthroat, that's it. You're, you're going down, sir. I'm sorry, but you are going absolutely down. I don't know what you think you were going to do on your own. Okay. Okay, I was not expecting a crit of that caliber. Um, I'm going to kill him no matter what here. Oh, no, I'm not. The bleed will kill him, though. I want to get a heal in here. I can't even heal myself. God damn it. Good. Wow. <laughs> what is this guy going to do? Immediately crits me for a massive amount. <laughs> okay, so there's our next bag. So that's good. So then we'll take... We'll take this. We'll get rid of the shovels because we know we don't need... No, we'll... We'll get rid of the torches, actually. Or the, the holy water, maybe? Yeah. Continue adventuring. Can't believe we've got a secret room as well. I'm so happy about that. So happy about that. Wow. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful quest there. That went fantastically. 28,000 from that. Wow. Eldritch Slayer and Savage Slayer. Both wonderful. But that that combo versus humans there, fantastic. The 50% damage. I mean, both these groups we've taken out today have proven to be insane. So Treatment Ward and Medical Ward are both free. So we should definitely go and uh, take advantage of that. First of all, let's see if do we have anyone want to bring on. We do indeed. We have two people to bring on, actually. We have... An antiquarian, which we've been waiting for for quite a while. Very nice to see. And we also have a Helion. Nice classes to bring on board. I'm very happy about those. Let's go and see if we want to clear everyone's diseases. So Leo, he's got... Honestly, neither of them really matter. Overfeeding. Overfeeding. Overfeeding's fine. I don't particularly care about that. It's lower speed, but it's not... It's not horrible. Um... That's fine. Probably get rid of this on Artemis because we might as well. So, medical ward. Get rid of that. Actually, we can do we can do this on a few different people. So we might as well go for um, go for some of these lesser important ones, like on Leah. The less accuracy if the stress is above. We'll go for that. And then the treatment ward. We need to check for people that have really really bad quirks. So, rune, that's not terrible, we're looking for the really bad ones, limp is fine, stress eater, it's annoying, minus 15 stress healing received is annoying, plus 20 stress if no medical herbs in inventory, that's annoying, so Ryan's definitely a good one to go for. Filthy's... Filthy's pretty bad. Mm. 
we'll probably get rid of filthy here. Filthy's really bad. So let's get rid of filthy. Pessimist is also pretty bad. Sca um, missing the spots annoying too. Oh yeah, definitely getting rid of malnourished there. 20, minus 20% maximum HP is huge. Right. Them guys are put away. Ready to go. Right. First of all, let's let's check everyone out. Make sure we don't need to do this. So let's just click on embark. I wish you could just unembark everyone like that easily, but you can't. Let's see what, what we've got coming up. We've got the Brigand 8 Pounder here with Ronin, Alchemist, and Musketeer. Um, we've got the Book of Holiness. Got some interesting things here. Nothing I'm particularly interested in right now. Uh, let's check this as well. The Nomad Wagon. Ruthless Sabot is... Oh, that's really good. I'm going to buy that. The Arsonist. Um, extra damage. Less melee skill damage. We actually have enough to get one of these if we wanted them. Uh, Musketeer. Extra healing skill. Friendly skills cure blight. Oh my god. Um, I I very highly doubt any of these are going to be too worth it for right now. But some of these could be insane. Uh, so I'm checking all of them. Melee skill damage. Melee skill accuracy. Oh, that's... That's, that's kind of ludicrous. That's insanely good. The parry dagger. That would make him just... Insane. Uh, we've got the shield breaker. We've got the arbalist one uh, here, which is going to be extra 50% damage when acting last. Extra damage. Ooh, that's, that's very nice too. The mana arms, extra damage, extra stun chance, extra move chance. On attack has a 50% base chance to, me uh, to uh, stun. And then this here, occultist. Minus 20 stress plus 30 debuff chance. I'm very, very tempted to take the parrying dagger. Let's see what let's see what we can sell and make sure we have li make sure we don't have literally no money left. So I'm never gonna use that. Uh don't want that. I know I shouldn't really be selling these, but it's for the best. Um I'm trying to look for ones that I know that I'm not gonna use. We don't have an Acolyte of the Sun yet, so I'm not bothered by that. That's pretty good. I feel like I'm not going to use that anyways. Uh, can't be marked. That's interesting. Again, we don't have an Acolyte of the Sun yet. So I'm going to sell that. Omen Seeker. We, don't have we do have an Omen Seeker, actually. Uh, is that good? No, I'm going to sell it anyways. This may seem foolish. Do we have any blues that we're never gonna use? We don't have any. We don't have a an, an, a hair yet, but still, I don't really want to sell that. Uh, all of these are only worth fifteen, as you can see. Hmm. I'm gonna sell this because I I think there's better things we can use on our Duchess, and that puts us with enough money to do stuff next time. How many people do we have that really desperately need upgrades? So, Amaris needs upgrades pretty desperately. Verona's fine. You're fine. Eon needs upgrades. Isaac needs upgrades. Scarlet needs upgrades. Sixth needs upgrades. Mary needs upgrades. Lucas needs upgrades. Aaron needs upgrades. Red needs upgrades. This is difficult because we have a lot of people here that quite desperately need upgrades and that all that money could go a long way, but at the same time, that's insane. Right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly pause the episode, I'm gonna ask some people what they think, and then come back to you and make sure I'm not making the wrong decision here. 
and I'll be back in just a second. Okay, I'm back. The people in the Discord and some of the viewers of this uh, series said that it's probably worth going for the trinket, even though it's very expensive, uh, just because of how powerful it is. Now, I'm a little on the on the weird side of, of how I feel about this, mainly because of the fact that the we then our money because of the, uh, I mean, we got lucky with the secret room and the collector on that last run, but we're getting, instead of 3,000, I think it's 3,600 you get from normally, we're getting like 5,500 because of the uh, 1.5 times money mod on the uh, gems. So I'm a little, I'm a little like, should we get it? Is that a bit cheaty? But at the same time, we're going to end up getting these earlier and we're having to sacrifice a lot to get it. So I'm going to just go for it. And Dismas just became a whole hell of a lot more powerful. Awesome. That's our first Ringmaster Trinket. Money's a bit tight now, but the next few episodes, we're going to be wanting to send spend a lot and a lot of money on um, on upgrades. But yeah, there you go. Uh, having having Dismas with this, plus probably uh, the Book of Sanity to reduce that 20% stress, his repost just gets insanely strong. Um, and his melee skills just get really strong as well. And that basically means that using these two skills here are going to be really really good um but yeah i hope you guys did enjoy this episode this was a really fun one and we had some really cool party comps and managed to kill another boss i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one